everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to download dim slope roughness and aspect map from the official website called open topography so where there is a high resolution topographic data and tools are provided so now let us open a browser so now type in the search bar as an open topography so now I have typed as an open topography now click enter to search so now click the first result called open topography home so now let me click this. So this is the official website called Open Topography, providing us a high resolution topographic data and tools. So in this section, you can able to visualize here, there's the latest news regarding open topographics provided and the latest uh, blog post available in this part of the section. So now to download this data, there is a elevation, slope, hill shade and roughness map. So go to this section called data so click this option called find data maps so now we are in find topographic data interface so here we are two different views one is the us views and second is of a global view so now let me click the global view so this is a global view so you can also select the map types so let me click and you can visualize here currently it is in terrain so now let me click as a hill shade so now it is in hill shade and similarly there is a hybrid uh, map type is also available so hybrid maps so now next is our satellite so now here in the right side section there is a data source the different types of data has been provided from this website includes open topography usgs 3d and nova data and community data space and global and regional dems so now we can select the type of data you required so click this option here so these are the different data types being provided from this data sources such as open topography usgs 3 deep and nova community data space global and regional dems so you can also visualize in the map the different data source being provided so which is indicated in different colors in the map section here so now in this video we can cover specifically our global and regional dems and here there is a few description about the global and regional dams so that is global and regional dams data sets a variety of global and regional raster products which are mostly satellite derived usgs data sets are accessible through open topography via api call to usgs server and data sets are open for all users so except the usgs one meter which is limited to us academics so so in this video we're going to show you how to download our dim slope hill shade and roughness so for that we're going to select the data type as srtm gl1 and gl3 we're going to select this data so now let us just select our study area that is our study area so we're going to choose a study area here so now to draw a region of interest click this option called region of interest so now we're going to draw a rectangle over our study region. So once you have drawn your uh, study region, the result section shows the total of eight data sets found for all the data sources. So here there is a global and regional dem, seven different data types being identified and one community level data has been identified. So that is uh, indicated here. So here we have our global ecosystem dynamic investigation gridded land surface metrics data and Copernicus global digital elevation model and NASA DEM global digital elevation model, global mathematry and uh, topography at 15 arcsec and uh, global multi-resolution topography data synthesis uh, data is available and Allos world 3D 30 meters and last we have our shuttle radar topographic mission that is SRTM global data sets. So suppose if you want to view the details of this data sets, you can click this option called view more details. So here, the details about this data sets been provided here in this section. So it has provided the description and the versions and the data providers and full data, uh, full data sets metadata. So now when the shuttle radar topographic mission is RTM global open data. So there is three different data sets available. So the first one is SRTM GL3 and second is SRTM GL1 and third is SRTM GL1 episodal. So now let us take a look at uh, SRTM GL3. So now we can able to visualize the SR 
The SRTM GL3 is a global 90 meter resolution SRTM, SRTM uh, DIM data. So now let us visualize other data too. That is, we have uh, visualized of SRTM GL3. So now let us visualize SRTM GL1. So now click this option called SRTM GL1. So here the, it is of uh, SRTM GL1 is a global 30 major resolution. Now here the details about this uh, SRTM DEM has been provided. So the SRTM is obtained elevation data on near global scale to generate a most complete high resolution digital topographic database of Earth. The SRTM consists of specially modified radar system that flows on board on special uh, space shuttle during on 11 day mission in February 2000. So there is a uh, details about this uh, data sets have been provided. So we have already selected our region of interest. So we can able to visualize this particular rectangular polygon indi indicates our region of interest. We have selected it previously. So using this region, uh, region select tool. So now let me zoom out this. Okay. So after that, you can able to find this option called coordinates. So here there's a horizontal coordinates details and vertical coordinates and the units are degree. So data selection coordinates, we have selected our uh, study area. So now uh, we're going to click this option called manually enter the selection coordinates. So once you are done that, you have to click this option called validate the coordinates and estimate the area. So now the current uh, selection area is approximately is around 97,214 kilometers square. So next we're going to move on to our data output format. So now we're going to choose our output uh, format. So for that, we're going to select this option. So here there is three different data formats being available. One is of arc and second is GeoTIFF and third is an image. So we're going to select two with GeoTIFF. So next we're going to move on to our raster visualization. The what are the different types of uh, maps you want, the data you want to download. So for that, let me click this uh, hill shade, color relief, color hill shade and slope aspect and roughness. So I'm going to select all the data, all the data sets starting from hill shades to roughness. So in case you want to, you want to have this, uh, make an additional Google Earth KML as an output. So you can also select this option and the output format will be in TIFF and uh, you can also select this as a KM, KM set. So in case you want to visualize it in uh, Google Earth Pro, so you can uh, use this option to make an additional Google Earth KMZ output. And uh, in case you're selecting color or relief and color hill shade, you can also select the color map. Uh, so for now, I was going to select to default color map that is terrain. So next we're going to, that is job description. So you had to give your job title and job description. And uh, let me enter the job title as, as a researcher. So once you have entered your job description, make sure that you enter as a, your uh, mail ID, that is your mail ID. And once you're using this data for any research purposes and make sure that you give a citation for, for this data set. So now uh, click this option, uh, submit. So now the raster job results is given here. And here there's a, you had to note one thing, depending upon the size of your job and system load, your job may take greater than an hour to complete. Uh, so, in case you're selecting larger data set, it may take around more than an hour. That is an hour to complete this process to generate our digital elevation model and other visualization products. So currently it is loading a raster visualization. So now the, the raster data sets has been completed. So data product has been uh, completed and it took around 61 seconds to complete this. So the data, the download data is provided in this section. So the DEM results are given here. The download compressed raster results of our SRTM DEM is around 10 MB. And similarly, our visualization products are given. The download visualization product results, it is around 88.9 MB. The visualizations, uh, visualization products are given here. There is our hill shade, color relief, color shade, slope, and aspect, and roughness. So it is our visualization products. So, and this is our DEM. So to download this, click this option. So now it is downloading. So you can able to visualize here. It is downloading here. So it is the download has been completed. And similarly to download a visualization product, click this option. Click vis.tar.gz. So it is downloading here. 
so now both the visualization and dem data has been downloaded so let me show you one more thing in visualization product you can also view it on our map using click this option to view that let me click for color relief so a new window has been uh, popped up and wish, uh, we can visualize it now so now we can able to visualize our color relief so likewise suppose if you want to view this data on a map you can just click this option called view on map so this is our hill sheet data so now let me close this and you can also download our color relief using our kmz file format suppose you want to view it in our google earth pro so for that let me click this so it is getting downloaded here so now let me open my file manager so now we can able to visualize in download section we have our the dim and color relief in kmz file format and our visualization products in uh, zip file compressed file format so now i'm going to copy this uh, three files i'm going to play place it in a separate folder and now let us extract this file so now let me click this visualization dot tar right click and choose the option to extract here so we have extracted the data sets so now i've created a folder let me drag this all this for files into this folder now similarly we can extract our raster SRTM so click this option right click and click this option called extract here so now we have our SRTM dem and we have our KML uh, SRTM in KML file format for color relief and now let us visualize this data set in ArcGIS and before that we so we can also before that we can also visualize pro for that click this option that is our KMZ file format. Click this. So it's going to open our Google Earth Pro. Now let us take a look uh, at this data of color relief. So now we can able to visualize our data set color relief. So this is our color relief SRTM dem. It is the visualization product. So now let me get back to our ArcGIS. So now let me add our SRTM dim and visualization product into our art map. So for that, click this option called add data and click this option called add data. And now navigate to your file location. Now click this option and we're gonna visualize this visualization product. So now let me select this data. So starting from aspect, color, hill shade, hill shade and color, roughness and slope. Click this option add. So a new window has been popped up saying create a promise. Click, the, uh, click this option called yes. So now we can able to visualize our different data types. So if we have added our visualization products, that is our data type starting from aspect, color relief, hill shade, and hill shade and color, roughness, and slope. So now at last we're gonna add our SRTM dem. So we're going to click this option called output srtm.tiff and add. So this is our srtm dem of 30 meter resolution. So now let us take a look at this data. This is our srtm dem. So this is our aspect. And this is our color relief. And this is our hill shade. And hill shade and color roughness and last uh, it is our slope so in this video i have shown you how to download the topographic data from open topographic and official website where all these different data sets have been available starting from srtm dem and our visualization product starting from aspect color relief hill sheet hill sheet in color roughness and slope so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like